Hey, hey, everybody, Kevin here with Pursuing Pixels, and I'm going to be checking out Pixboy here, and this is a game that we picked up on Nintendo Switch for super cheap. I think standard price, it's only five bucks. I think we even got it on sale for cheaper than that, uh, but it obviously caught our eye with this, like, old school, like, you know, Game & Watch LCD screen style, like those little old school, like, handheld uh, games and whatnot, but yeah, it's, to the best of my knowledge, just a pretty simple side-scrolling platformer. We're going to be taking a first look at it here, probably play the first in a world or so, I always like to take these first looks and keep them short and sweet. And if you like what you see, we'll have links in the video description to where you can check the game out for yourself. Um, yeah, but feel free to watch as much as you like, and we'll get into the game here hopefully pretty shortly. Obviously, we're getting a little bit of story. Maybe I'm just looking for my missing dog, or maybe I'm just pissed at my dog. Um, press A to start. Let's go. Maybe I'm pissed that my dog is lost. So either way, I'm digging the tunes so far. And pretty straightforward. Looks like we're just collecting coins, jump in. I think there are going to be some enemies. And I think you do get, like, not a bow and arrow, maybe like a slingshot. Some kind of uh, projectile throwing weapon. Um, but yeah, I'm really digging this, like, old school aesthetic. And oh, hold on. Can I go through here? Little secret. Little secret for you. How's that? Nice. All right, level one done. Oh, I missed some coins. Okay, well, I'll just keep going along, though. That's okay. I'm curious to see... Uh, you know, if you're going for 100% and stuff, uh, there's obviously a lot of stuff. Do I just jump on this thing? That kind of looked like my dog. I don't know how I, <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. I guess it was just an enemy, but that looked a lot like my, uh, dog on the title screen that was, like, playing fetch with the ball. Oh, I can press in the air and hold jump, so I can kind of, I can Breath of the Wild this? Okay. Does it, uh, disintegrate over time? Or lose? Nope, that's just when I'm moving, so I can I can hold that as long as I want. Nice. Not disintegrate, but I thought maybe I would lose its touch. Looks like some checkpoints. So that for, oh shit, that first level was short and sweet, but looks like we're gonna add multiple checkpoints into some of these later levels, even though those are right next to each other. That's actually kind of nice though, because it's probably just so I can go back for that secret or whatever. Did I get them all, you think? 73? I bet you it's 75. No, 79! Dang. I kind of like that it doesn't show you. And then you got power time. So obviously, if you're somebody that likes going for all the collectibles, going for speed running, this game is good in any capacity. But I believe there's a bunch of pallets you can unlock. Oh, here we go. Slingshot time. And boom. Hit that possum right in the face. Um. Nice. I am really kind of into this game. And by kind, I mean like super into this game. Um, I'm not a huge fan of that kind of stuff. Like all these like, oh, do I have to like push up against every fucking wall in the game to find all the secrets? But whatever. Oh, maybe these are the new pallets. Yeah. Nice. Cool. I'm just going to let it ride as the pallets change. Unless, unless I get one that I just hate. But I'm digging this. Let's go. We're in the forest now. Oh. Ah, come on. And I think, yeah, there's 100 levels in this game to the best of my knowledge. So I'm always a big fan of that. Can I hit this thing? Oh, and then can I land on it? Yeah. Fuck yeah. So we're getting a little puzzle platforming going on. This is a cool little game here. And not even little, because again, there are apparently 100 levels. So, oh, and you have ammo on your slingshot. I have nothing I can uh, shoot with. Interesting. Oh, damn. Oh, so I can jump on it, too. Okay, I was like, well, how the hell am I going to do this without any uh, slingshot ammo? I like how the enemies, like, just, like, uh, like get pulverized into pixels. It's pretty cool. It's a cool effect. Oh, I don't know when I picked up ammo, but I wasted it. There we go. Just got to watch out for those. Oh, one and done. Come on. Get over here. Sit down. Elevator. Dang, yeah, these levels are getting much longer. Dang it. There we go. No, oh, come on. Get up there. Yeah. There we go. Oh, and I have ammo again. So it's not... Okay, so it's from killing the enemies gives you ammo. Okay. That's really cool. That's actually freaking sweet. All right, next level. Oops. 
game is cool. Oh, extra jump on the enemy to get extra ammo. So you have to jump on them, so not just killing them. Like you don't get ammo for killing them with the slingshot. That is cool. Oh, even like it, just these little effects, like how the bridge tiles like drop down a little bit. Get get through that. Wait, what? Oh, I jump up through the bridge, maybe? Yeah. It's like, what the fuck am I supposed to do here? Ah, oh, come on. Okay, I got the health back at least. Yeah, they turn into like watery pixels. Like just the way they kind of like flow a little bit. I like it a lot. Okay, so I can jump. I, should get, I probably could have jumped on that other enemy before that I was like trying to dodge like crazy. I'm so used to these platformers where you like can't take any damage whatsoever. Can't touch anything. I was just playing some Cyber Shadow before this, and it was like, okay, oh, I got five hearts, so you can even have more than max. What's this? Do I have to hit this thing? Oh! Just gotta stomp on it. Oh, you can have even more! You can have six hearts. Oh! And then it doesn't matter. Oh, no, that's just one heart. Lost. Plus, right back to the checkpoint. For a second, I was thinking these were spikes, but it's just that bridge. I don't know. I really like that bridge, like, walking sound effect. Come on, you fucking asshole. Let's just make it quick. There we go. Yeah. Speed run. Not really, obviously, but nice. Yeah, I'm, I am into this game. Obviously, you know, kind of simplistic in a way, but they, this is just my kind of thing. I love just getting right into it. Are these animals just, like, pooping? I thought they were, like, playing with a ball at first, but they're definitely, those, like, dogs are pretty sure they're just plopping out little poops. Oh! Okay, so I gotta find a couple keys. Gotcha. But a lot of, and I love like the, the full widescreen action. Like it's not, a lot of these games, these that go for the old school retro aesthetic. Nice. Got the other key. They kind of go for like the full screen approach. I like that this gives you the full widescreen view. And it just really, I used to play those old, like I, we had this Tailspin and I think a Darkwing Duck game. Definitely a Tailspin game. Can I go in the house? Oh, Warp Bone. What the heck? Is it just for health? Oh yeah, so I'm just in the doghouse. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, where do I go then? Oh, okay. Forgot I picked up that key. Oh shit! Yes. Keep going. Whew. I feel like there was some other stuff down here that I maybe missed. Yeah. Oh, fuck you. Oh, yeah. Sit down. What is that? I can't... Was that ground, like, flaming or something? Get on up there. Oh, fuck off. Oh, we got some gulls. Fuck. Hmm. In a pattern? Okay. Not that diff <laughs> not that difficult to figure out. One of two options. No oh, fuck. I gotta use my slingshot a little more. Yeah. Boom. No. Nope. Oh, okay. I must have hit it before. Got this thing moving. Ah, that's cool. That's super cool, actually. I like that. Okay. Another hit point. Oh, end of the level. Come on, fuck you! Piece of shit. How do I get... How do I get in there? Yeah! Ah, oh, you dumbass. Forgot I gotta do this again. Oh, and I missed one of the coins in there! You dumbass. I just gotta wait it out. 
I don't even care about that one coin. I know I didn't get them all. I didn't get all the uh, popsicles either, so no biggie. Let's just get out of here. Oh, I thought it said 101 coins. Was, you gotta be fucking kidding me. I missed a few more, six more. Now, what are some... Oh, those are just the bullets exploding. I was like, something else is getting killed over here. But yeah, I like how nothing's, like, too frantic, but it's still kind of a... Has, like, a little, ah, a little bit of a hectic feel, although I haven't died yet. But that doesn't bother me. I, I honestly prefer that. I'd rather not play a game that's just going to, like, kick my teeth in every five seconds. Give me a fighting chance. Oh, a couple of saplings. No! Spoke too soon because I'm about to die right now with my one lousy hit point. Oh, never mind. Oh! Yeah, fuck that. Those bow and arrow enemies. They kind of look like Q-Bone. All right, up to three. Now, I, don't, I wonder if you start back at the checkpoints. Fuck, 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 fuck. Ooh. Like if you get a full blown game over, because I know you start at them after you take damage, but why do I have to kill every enemy in every game? Obviously not, I've already skipped some, but it's just like that gut, your instinct is just like, gotta take them out. Oh, come on, you fucking... Alright. Try that again. Okay, I got three. Oh, come on! Cause the, uh, I guess because the bridge. Fuck. And those little runts are almost the hardest enemies to avoid. Definitely the hardest ones to uh, land on. Ah, come on. There we go. When you move side to side, it almost looks like the cape thing is like flashing. So I keep thinking I'm like running out of juice, but I already tested that out at the beginning. It seems like you have infinite, uh, infinite cape floating, which is nice. But even when you fall, you don't even fall that fast. Right on Cubone's head. Oh no! Fuck off. At least I got all those coins. Ah, oh, what a dumbass though. That was all my fault. At least Cubone's dead. A fitting demise. Oh! Don't hide those two from me. Got them all? No, I missed 15 coins. Like, what the fuck am I missing? Let's keep going. I might be missing pallets all over the place. Who knows? Okay, I think I got to get up there on that snail. Yep. Keep thinking those spikes are like arrows that are going to shoot out at me. Ah! That doesn't seem to be the case. They're just regular old spikes. Ah, fuck. These, on the other hand. Come on. There we go. And there we go. Dang, I thought I'd maybe landed on more enemies. Is that a platform? Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah! Oof. Shit. Oh, nice. Little popsicle. Dang it. Get it. Oh, nice! Another popsicle. So I guess I gotta look more for these secrets. Like, pushing up against the walls. I guess I haven't been doing that as much. Take me back to this checkpoint. Oh, yeah, because I gotta get that key. Yeah, so this, I wouldn't say, like, again, even though I haven't technically, like, died or got a game over or whatever, this game is definitely not easy. Um, I'm really liking the challenge so far. Love the aesthetic. Pixel, or the pixel tunes, the chip tunes are great. 
Um, oh, nice. Shortcut back up here. Oh, let's just wait right here. Seems like you can get on those at almost any time. Or not any time, but oh, that would have been nice if that missile hit that thing. Get in there. Oh, got all three. Oh, no, there's six on this level. Damn. So it does show you how many of those there are, but it does not show you the coins. What? Oh, I landed on one of those little, those pip squeaks. Oh, fuck off. No. I don't know why in my head I was like, I wonder if I can bounce off that. Yeah, no wall jumping or anything like that. I gotta use these snails to my advantage. Oh, wait, hold on. I bet you, yeah. Oh, oh no, I thought that was a key up there. That was just on the UI at the top. Nice. Yeah, I love how those pixels drop. Uh, where the hell am I supposed to go? Down here? Yeah. Some kind of big levels here. Might as well get these two coins while I'm here. 133. Hey, these levels are getting pretty huge, to be honest. Like, at first glance, I just feel like you could easily think, like, oh, it's a bunch of, like, single-screen platform challenges. But there are, like, some pretty full-fledged levels here. Oh. And not that there's anything wrong with single-screen uh, single platform challenges, because those are some of my favorite games. As you know, if uh, you've watched some of the videos on our channel already. Oh. Let me up there. Come on. Turn around. Dang it. Oh yeah, I'm loaded up with ammo. Nope. Nice. 170. Damn, you still missed 19. Fuck. That is tough. But yeah, this game is sweet. I'm probably just going to play through the first, like, ten levels or so. Because um, by now, again, you probably know if this is a game you want to check out or not. Um, and I like to keep these first plays mostly spoiler-free. And then uh, sometimes I go back and play some more and finish up the Let's Play. Sometimes I talk about them on the podcast. Sometimes I never end up mentioning them anywhere else. But I still keep playing them on my own time. Just kind of depends on, on the game. Um, but I'm definitely into this one, and it's definitely one, like, these are just my favorite kind of games, just these platformers that you don't, you know, you can kind of turn your brain off a little bit and just, like, play the game. I just have to jump, slingshot, I don't have that much to worry about or to manage an inventory, like, no shit like that. Like, I just, I really like these kind of games. Oh. I guess I gotta worry about my, uh, my ammo. Not at, not at the moment. I'm doing okay on that end. Yeah, I'm actually... I'm really liking this game a lot right now, to be honest. And this is only, like, level 7. And it may, maybe I'm misspeaking on the 100 levels, but I definitely know there's four worlds that I think have either, like, 20 or 25 levels each. Like, I know there's four worlds with a bunch of levels. Even here, you get, like, almost antsy. It's just like, I just want to fucking drop. I don't need this cape. I don't need this fucking cape. Oh, I got to bring these with me, huh? Come on. Ah, fuck off. Get on him quick. There we go. So it is like an instant death when you hit the spikes in the sense that like you get sent back to a checkpoint, but you don't lose all your hearts because I said, oh, shit, you just lose one. But fuck, not going to wait for that shit to come back. Come on. That's uh, it's not too bad. I was going to say that's a little annoying, but not too bad. You got to be really careful around these spikes. I do appreciate that they're always moving. Like, it's like you never are going to not see them. There we go. Let me 
get a few of these coins up here. Not that, again, I'm not going for 100, because I clearly have not been able to do it on any of the levels. Not even on the first one, I don't think. How'd I miss that hardy? Oh, okay, I just have full health. Oh, there you go. I just, okay, I was gonna say, can't get back up. I'm not gonna wait for it. It is gonna be one of these times, though, that I just go, ah, there's no way, I mean, I know I missed more than one, and then I'm gonna, it is gonna be only the one that I missed, and I'm gonna be pretty fucking ticked. Get out of here, nice. Yeah, I missed a shit ton. Level eight, so yeah, I'll play up to level 10, and, or, like, I'll try to beat level 10. Let's switch back to this pa main palette here. No, what am I doing? I wonder if I can just sail over this whole thing. Yeah, I can. Even more, what am I doing? So this level looks like it's got a little bit of double action, like, go one way or the other. You can also bounce off the enemies higher, like, if you jump at the same time that you land on them. Like, if I don't jump, it's just kind of a little bop. If I press jump, it looks like I bounced at least off that one enemy a little bit higher. Yeah. Can I make it with the kite? Yep. Nice. Oh, that's the exit of the level over there, so I gotta make it all the way down and around, I think. Ah! Fuck off. How did I not hit that? I'm glad I went, glad I went the way with the key first. Okay, I only have three hearts. Can't play as foolishly as I did before. There we go. Oh! Nice. Let me get that checkpoint. Oh. So I gotta look kinda everywhere for secrets. Damn, yeah, they're fucking all over the place. Even ones where you have to kinda backtrack a little bit. Which, not, that's not a complaint at all. It's actually pretty cool. Did not expect that from this game. Oh, no, what am I doing? Just did the same fucking backtrack. Ah, come on. Impatient. There we go. Might as well get these. Have a feeling there's something up here, too. Nice. Okay, now that I know, you can actually kind of see those, too. They're, like, a little bit telegraphed, so... I always appreciate that. Ah, fuck. There we go. Damn it. No. Okay. I don't know what that did, but... Don't mind going back up and around this way. Not too bad. No! Fucking whiffed. Just totally whiffed that jump. There we go. Yeah, when you can see the checkpoint right there, it's just like, ah, oh, I could have been right fucking there. There you go. How about that? Okay, I guess trial and error. How about middle right left? Middle left right? There you go. I don't know if there's... Maybe there's somewhere that shows me... Like, what it's trying to tell me, what the puzzle is there, but nowhere that I can see. Get out of here. Oh. I thought it... Oh, yeah. It looks like I'm, like, jumping up in there. Oh, yeah. You gotta activate, like, levers to... Like, again, like, so, like, to get those coins back there, I'm gonna have to backtrack. That's interesting. I, li I like that. 
And I clearly didn't figure out how to get those. A couple dog houses down there too. Oh no, I never went down here. What do we have? Can I go in all of them? Oh! Can I go up and through? Nope. Nice! Bunch of dog houses. Heck yeah! So they're not... I thought they were just always going to be like a little health replenishment, but not the case. This game is awesome. There we go! Damn, I'm like exploring some of these too and I'm still not coming anywhere near all the goodies. But all right, level 10, this will be the last, oh wait, little cutscene, maybe this. Maybe there's 10 levels, maybe there's only 40 levels in the game. Oh, am I gonna have to fight this mother? Oh yeah, more of a chase scene. No, you idiot. Heck yeah. Oh no. How about a little glide? Oh shit. Speed up. Oh, checkpoints, nice. This is sweet, I, I love a good chase sequence. In a game, no! Okay, I got a checkpoint. Oh no, but I only have one heart. Well, we're probably gonna find out what a game over screen looks like here. Oh, well, maybe not. If the dog can't come on over this way. Yeah, slow, slow your roll, buddy. No! Damn it! Well, there you go. Start from the beginning of the level, yep. With only three hearts, good to know. Damn. And again, yeah, you don't get anything for like clearing the checkpoint. I'm used to like Super Mario World or whatever, and you go through the gates and you get the, uh, at least gives you a mushroom. If you're not already big. I guess it doesn't give you the mushroom per se, but you just turn big. Is that it? Oh no! I just had to fucking say something. Look at this thing right on my ass. Get the fuck out of here! This thing's right on my ass! Dude, get this dog out of here! Fuck you, man! Fuck! Okay, get my shit together! Fuck you! Uh, I almost wanna just waste my lives here. Like, once you take the one point of damage, what's the point of continuing on? Knowing that just two more is all it takes. This part's not too bad. I shouldn't say that, because that just means I open my mouth. This gives you the best break on the dog. Like, it's a little closer when you start from the checkpoint. Go all the way over. Oh, that's not the end of the level. Fuck. New checkpoint, though. Yeah, that felt a little short, if it would have been the end of the level. Oh, no! Oh, I am lucking out here big time! There it is. There it is. You're not my dog anymore. <laughs> yeah, there you are, buddy. Awesome. So yeah, it looks like on to the next world. So maybe, like I said, maybe I was wrong on the, uh, but there's obviously plenty of stuff to unlock. I was incorrect about the 100 levels, but there's probably 40 levels. And maybe there's another world after these, but um, yeah, I highly recommend checking out Pixboy. I'm super into this. Um, and yeah, like as always, like as always, as always, we'll have uh, links in the video description. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching as always and take care.